and welcome back to the Rockville campus of Montgomery College in Rockville, Maryland. Michael Brown alongside my partner, Sean Cobran. And once again, our final score, the Montgomery College Rockville Knights won, the Catonsville Cardinals nothing. And Sean, you know, in a game like this, an evenly matched game, it's really tough to pick a player of the game, but we got to do it. Yeah, there was solid effort from the whole midfield unit. The fours always on the attack. Obviously, Baitka with the goal, Santiago with a whole bunch of saves today. But when the defense broke down, when that pressure from the offense and the midfield broke down, there was one woman there all day, and that was Julie Bowers. Well, she really controlled the tempo, and there we see Julie. Uh, she, again, to remind our viewers, she is a, an offensive player who was asked to move to sweeper, which is really one, if probably the most important uh, defensive player on the team. She shook off a little bit of disappointment at, at not being able to play in the offensive end, and she, she did a fantastic job today of clearing, breaking up plays, and really, like you said, controlling the tempo. Yeah, she cleared with control. Not only did she break up the action, she got the ball moving back up the field for Rockville more often than she was beaten and had to throw, just kick it out of bounds to stop the action. And it really made the difference in the second half, which is where Rockville really dominated. It was 0-0 zero to zero at halftime. It was very even first half. But Rockville came out and really controlled the tempo, the pace, the flow in the second half. They had numerous shots on goal to very few for Catonsville. And, of course, they had the big one that went in by Baitka. Absolutely. And we saw with about two minutes left how precarious a one-goal lead is. Just a loose ball about 35 yards out from the corner kick action, just about this this far from going in the net. Maleka Mickey, she shot that moon ball with a lot of spin on it, and it just barely missed going in. Uh, that was a, a deep breath time there for Rockville, <laughs> that's for sure. So let's uh, let's take a look at some of the uh, statistics here from our from our game, and there, of course, is our final score, one to nothing, the Rockville Knights over the Catonsville Cardinal. And the most striking thing is Catonsville had more shots at half by one or two than Rockville, and now at the end of the game, Rockville twice as many shots, and that was really shown in the action in the second half, especially leading up to and right after that goal. And the corner kicks are another key statistic. It shows the way that the opportunities that Rockville had going to the goal. Trujillo, many runs down the side, almost a goal on several occasions. Uh, Smet, um, uh, Crystal Quinones, all of them in those types of situations. And of course, then Orbe takes the corner kick for Rockville. Yeah, and Orbe really in the middle of everything, getting that momentum going. Now, uh, Sean and I will be right back in a couple of minutes. We've got an interview coming up with the winning head coach of Rockville, Kelly Wakeman. So stay with us. We'll be right back after this. Thank you. 